All right, so let's carry on with 6.1, Relativity of Motion. Um, so let's start off by just looking at this picture, just to get kind of an intuitive understanding. Um, so whenever we're looking at an object, moving the motion of an object, we have to consider the reference frame. Reference frame is, is just the point of reference from which we're making the measurement. So if we look at this person called E, E is the observer. So an E obviously refers to the Earth reference frame. So it is relative to the Earth. It is moving at the same speed as the Earth, so to speak. Okay. So what is the velocity of car 1 and car 2 relative to a person standing on Earth. Well, if you look at this car, you can see it's moving. So, um, relative to Earth, this car will have a certain velocity, as you can see by this velocity vector. But, relative to Earth, this car that is stationary will have a zero velocity. Okay, so you're saying this is so easy. Okay. All right, it is easy. Now, what if we switched reference frames? We switched from the Earth reference frame to reference frame M. Now, instead of standing on the side of the road watching this car move in one direction and this car be stationary, what if we switched our reference frame and we looked at what happens if this person inside the car was our reference frame? So if you're sitting in the car, what is the, what is the velocity of the car? Re relative to you. It is zero. I hope you can see that. So because we've switched our reference frame, this car that's moving, right, it's got a certain velocity, but now the reference frame has the exactly the same velocity, which means that the, the velocity of car 1 relative to M, right, the M reference frame is zero. Now what about, the, what about car 2? What about car 2, the velocity of car 2 relative to m? Car 2 relative to m. As you can see now, if you're in the car, what is this car doing now relative to you? It is now moving at a, in a negative velocity. So in both these cases, we have exactly the same situation, exactly the same situation. But we are measuring motion from two different reference frames. In this reference frame, this car has got a zero velocity, and this car has a positive velocity to the right. If we switch reference frames so that you're in the car, if you look back, you will see that this car is moving away from you. Okay. Now, um, I think that's good enough for now. The next video, I'm going to discuss this lovely equation, which will open up everything. See you in the next one.